Boop. And yes, if anyone was wondering, I'm in my bathrobe because this is chill, chill Friday for Kitchen. Stone shirt chills all day. <laughs> I was hoping I would catch someone who hadn't muted me off guard. Nice. <laughs> I'm back. All right. <clears throat> what were we doing? Right. We're playing Jorgrim. Jorgrim is a dwarf. He's got a beard and an axe. He doesn't need anything else. But people need his help. And like a true hero, he will step up to the task. There. Okay. Things set. Yes, good. Oh, I'm heading over to turn in my contract. We can't do that. Right. I'm debating internally here. How how could I? This is not a curse build. How could I beat that uh, dungeon? An identify scroll costs a hundred gold yeah. for this trash build to maybe be better than Yorgrim's build. Bleed resistance doesn't really matter, but crit chance three percent is pretty big. You can get that on an enchant though, so I say a hundred. Unlikely that this is worth it, but there's a chance. Health and energy up. Fumble chance minus one. It's a tough call. Um, not necessarily a downgrade. Peasant Sash. A belt with the nastiest timing for getting loose, so it needs to be fastened as tight as possible. Yeah. See, the bleed resistance, of course, is nice. 5%. Bleeding is sucks. And crit chance, extra damage. Uh... The opposite of crit is fumble and or missing and fumbles become misses and stuff like that. So less fumble chance means also more damage. And so 1% health and energy. The cool thing about them is that when we upgrade them, you know, we get percentage healing and percentage energy restoration. So we would get significantly more of both. Um, and, and then the, the finer details of, of both maths, I, I can't. Possibly calculated. So, I, I, uh, yeah, if you bleed, you lose more than three HP per round plus time wasted on bandage. You know what? Ah, I was gonna replace it, but I, the bleed resistance does it. I guess makes it go better. Hmm. I don't know. I I think I think it's a no. The end of the day, the one game value the one the game valued higher generally is better. Ah, but uh the game does not value enchantments to offer. So uh the fact that it has a blue enchantment on it does not matter for the little number in, with the gold in the bottom. So and this is a sim system I have consistently complained about, but that's how life is right now. Uh, so, yeah. Did this spell just get nerfed? It used to give cooldown reductions to Grim spell. Yeah, well, I've noticed that a lot of the equipments do not do what they used to be. Look at this cape. I had this cape in the previous run with uh, Durvin just before the update, and it was an amazing cape. It did all kinds of stuff, like physical resistance, starch chance, fortitude, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff, and now it gives 5% fortitude resist. Noise produced doesn't matter. <laughs> so, 
Like a lot of stuff has gotten significantly nerd, but everything is also more deadly. And uh, the, the combat system has completely changed. And pro balance is probably off because of it, but I don't, let's not get into the nitty gritty of that. It, it's too much to discuss, and I have too little knowledge currently. This one's better. got beaten up pretty badly. Um, bum, bum, bum. um, yeah. Nothing else to do right here. Not sure why I'm hesitating here. I'm still thinking about that belt. My gut tells me that this spell is better. Oh, but the bleed, the bleed resist. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to sell it right now, because it gives me too good gold. We'll we'll continue the bait, but uh, right now we're keeping it Isn't to sell it. Okay, all the repairs cost us most of our money. It would be cheaper to repair, to maintain. Low tier chassis. Yeah, one third the durability is actually a good thing because it's very cheap to repair, but it will break quickly. That's another thing, I suppose. Yeah. It is very rare, though, that things get beaten up to the point where it breaks during a mission. But then the Dwarven Axe did, did, so maybe that's changed too? I don't know, man. Uh, no. Crossbow be gone. Bow enters the field. Uh, we will combo that with some arrows. Oof. Maybe that was dumb. Because that was expensive. Huh. Now we're out of money. Oh, he gives me a little bit of uh, medical supplies for completing his quest. Oh, these are randomized. Last time it was a healing self here. Oh. Okay, well, he gave me a splint, which is nice. Four. And a healing self. And we're running a tight ship with this build here. Yeah, I would, I would like another healing self if we can't afford it. Huh. We have very low food. Oh. I am selling Yorgrim's amulet that I saved out of sentimentality for scraps of food right now. Yeah, this is what it's come down to. We need to go to the brewery, we need to go to this point of interest and the castle. Maybe we do, we'll do a, a point of interest trip where we go here, here and here. And then if there's, uh, if I have surplus of like, or if I feel like I have the, yeah, I, I can't think of the English word right now. Like if I, I feel like I have the energy for it. Then I will go to the brewery as well. 
bit extra food, and then we go. Did I forget anything? Let me... How about we check that leaving town checklist before we leave the town? Uh, repair, food, arrows, lock picks. We're not gonna sleep right now, and we have refilled the water skin. All right. Oh, our morale is at 5%. Jesus. Here's the dog. Can't pet the dog. Can't attack the dog, though. That's not what we want. It's kind of sweet, though, that it follows you as around the farm. I'm not sure if that's what it does or it's just random. But it felt like that's what, that was what was happening. Back into the wild we go. Away. Oh, an archer. Okay. And he has a friend. Great. Okay, let's see if we can handle this. This is not good. Oh, they all missed. Wow. Well, he's giving me arrows. Stop struggling. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, he ran out of arrows, right. I forgot that's a thing that they can do. It wasn't always a thing. Oh, and he got me, he gave me a quiver. Nice. Useful. Arrows. Good. All right, good enough. That's a good start to this little outing. Let's take up the grave. Uh, 18 XP until level up. And there's 18 XP right up there. Oh, my hands. Ah, it's not that bad, okay. As long as we don't dig up three graves in a row, I suppose. Oh, and we find a better armor. game if the game is trying to say sorry for to me for kicking my butt earlier that's nice I would like to hit one of these arrows now yeah I guess the lock is turning again um where do we go to bottleneck these guys?
Oh. I was expecting the, the axe guy to be here right now. Okay. Oh, oh, we're running into the bandit camp right now. Not great. Uh, we gotta... Like that, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, that, that's helpful. Nice, okay. He is going to pull me, so we gotta go away from here. Yeah. And they ended up wasting a turn again. Here's another bottleneck spot. Let's go for that. Nice. And now I switch. Hang on a sec there, dude. I gotta level my dude. Yeah, my graves have been good. I mean, I, we haven't gotten any, like, artifacts or legendary equipment, but we got a lot of mid-tier equipment now from the graves, and... That's nice. Uh, artifacts and legendary equipment are not ter terms that I should be using, because artifacts and legendary equipment are indeed things. Uh, legendary equipment is not in the game yet, and artifacts have been added. But I'm not talking about those. Like I'm just like talking about uniques and high-tier stuff. That you can find in graves. Anywho, Combat Master B, we did get that thing. Ah, the war cry. I think this is a pretty significant debuff for eight turns, and I get battle rage for four turns, which is a pretty strong buff. I've never had the war cry before. We are gonna try out the war cry. And you know what? Heck yeah. Yar! Battle Rage! Crit efficiency up by 20%, crit chance up by 5%, and weapon damage death up by 10%. Meanwhile, he has a weakness. Look at all those debuffs. I'm not even gonna name them all. There we go. This is what we wanted. And then... Yes. In order to unlock the next thing in dual wielding, this one down here, we need strength, vitality, Agil uh, agi strength, agility, vitality, or willpower. All right, any one of those four. So strength, we could get that to fifteen, maybe. It's it's the closest one to fifteen, and I do want those bonuses. And the block chance up would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Fun and powerful in the dungeon. It echoes literally everyone against you. The war cry, amazing. I love it. You're right, of course. That's the, I, I didn't consider that weakness. Oh, that's fun. I think it's worth money. Jack X. Uh, we were shooting at people over here, so I gotta go and pick up those arrows. May oh, up here, yeah. Didn't I see a mind ward somewhere? Oh, here, yeah. Sanity and morale up. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Still thirsty? Alright. Here. Oh, we can remove the reloading skill. The bow has significantly lower accuracy than the crossbow, so this is why we're missing this much. Oh, that was too early. What am I thinking? That's nice, though. All right, I love it. Um, yeah, and I want to use it again in the next segment of this fight, so let's run away for a bit.
Oh, we lost one of the guys. So that was just 1v1. Good. Oh, he missed. Okay. Uh, we are on a timer for the battle rage there, so I'll jump at him. Nice. Give us the gold, precious. Not a single hit. Okay. We recover some energy for one thing. Uh, health restoration. Bleed resistance for 30 turns. Okay. Hmm. That or flea ward. No war cry. Got him. You stumbled into a bandit camp with 12 guys and four dogs. What? Oh, that must be that new special camp, right? It's not a random bandit camp. I think there's this uh, war camp close to Bryn or something. It must be, must be in a special camp or something. That sounds insane. I think I saw pictures of like a special bandit camp with, which was full of dudes. And and well done, by the way, surviving that. Oh, yeah, that time we hit a guy out in the, the dark. That's a, that is a little side effect that I didn't think of. I'll be honest. I should not have engaged yet. I should have waited for my cooldowns. Oh, we got him. I'm kind of relying on my abilities to help me do the work. Without them, I do not perform as well. Mind ward. Perfect. Well, I did say that we would go for the old castle, but why wouldn't I stop by Osbrook for just to unload and restock? Regular to tier two band again. Okay. Well, I didn't. In this case, I didn't mind aggroing that extra guy, but it is something to keep in mind with uh, the war cry. For sure. What? Mo how much energy does it cost? Only thirteen. Okay. Nice. I'm wondering if I can make room for the scythe. Scythe. But nah. Stuff. Um, nothing else here. The 
well. I'm glad picking up the the bucket in town is not considered a crime, because I've done that a few times. Buy another smoked ham here. Kicking the bucket? That means death to other. That's not a crime. Just cleaning the inventory a bit. Oh, I have five splints. Okay. Oh, can't hurt. Hm. It's, it's a pun, but it's bad. It's not punny if I have to point it out. All right. Question marks. Here we come. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, could I go and try to beat that dungeon now? Oh, we didn't repair the padded doublet. I I can't afford it. Pointing things out is all comedians do. Well, that's fair, huh? Well, now you got me thinking about that. Yeah. Then I'm a comedian for sure, because I always point it out when people make spelling mistakes. People don't laugh at that, though. Morale change. Mind ward. Sanity and morale increasing. Look at my Dungeons of Adira video. All I did was point out how jank the game was. Right. But it's in the delivery then. The comedians are good at making the, the pointing out sound funny. Which is not necessarily a pointing out thing. It's a it's a it's a delivery thing. Right you are, Jibwafa. Right you are. Now what happens here? Oh. Oh yeah, I was wondering, because... Wait. Huh. I managed to get stuck in Stone Shark. Can I get out? Yeah, okay, I can get out. <laughs> Funny. Successfully broke the game. Nice. Oh, all right, enemies. Oh, oh, he just took a pot shot at long range. Okay. Well, hopefully he hits his friend. He did. <laughs> and again, nice. And he's out of ammo. <laughs> and I got ammo from there because I picked up his. Nice. Another puppy. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I shoot one too many times. I don't have time for the walk right now. Okay, I would like to regen a bit here. So now we walk right. No, we we switch, then walk right, then jump. We can't jump because he's already next to us. Level six. Oh no, you you hit level six. Fair enough. Nice. Okay, that's that's higher than I've been in this update. I only got to level five. I feel like I'm doing it right now. It's happening. I'm liking this build a lot. Yeah, but it, it could flip at any point, I suppose. I'm not, like, safe at all. Let's try not to die while swimming. Oh, ah, we can make it. Yeah. How many days until my contract runs out? Three days. I'm wondering if I could make level five and then make it back. I would need to find more enemies, obviously, but... If we could do that, that would be cool. Uh, we are going this way. Thanks to Joanna. Joanna? The new Magma Rain spell is a little OP, but I love it. New Magma Rain? I've had like a, a firestorm thing before. I'm not sure if I know the one that you're talking about. It's been a long time since I played the Pyromancer. Well, I guess I did it today, but I'm only level two, I think, in that one. I've had a similar one, or, or am I thinking of Earthquake with Geomancy? That might be the one I'm thinking of. There's something similar. But I have had hard high tier fire magic before. Although it has been a while. Oh, I'm in a river. Uh made it across, okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, we are going south still. Gotta explore this tile over here as well. Oh, I thought this was like a sea or something, but no, it's just a cloud. Okay. This way, we are approaching the point of interest. Yes. Is a mind ward. Oh, here's something. This is supposed to be the old castle. Rumor has it there's an old castle nearby, one of those built by the Order. Even when King Edbert just ascended the throne, the keep had all... This this sentence, even when King Edbert just ascended the throne, is first of all grammatically incorrect, and I've also seen it, like, at least f on four separate, or, like, 
rumor texts now. That's kind of an interesting thing that they keep using that specific set sentence with the same. Even when King Itbert had had just ascended the throne, is how I would write it. The keep had already been abandoned. There are supposed to be a great riches inside, but no one has found them by now, and even if someone has, there was no word of them getting out with the loot. Alright, sounds scary. This might be a higher level dungeon than we can do yet. Oh, but there's an enemy here. Interesting. This looks like the old uh, high tier bandit dungeon. Which, if that's the case, we can't be here. And I wanted to go to the defiled monastery, but maybe we shouldn't. Oh yeah, this is definitely the same template as that old bandit camp. It might not be the same, though. Let's see. I thought I aggroed someone before. Oh, I can walk in here? Oh, so then it's not the same template. Oh yeah, this is a high tier guy. Uh, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a no. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do the Defiled Monastery either. Now that I think about it. So we could swing up by the fate of uh, the, the brewery here. Let's head in that direction. I'm already at half of my water skin though, so that's why we're sort of worried here. I'm trying to spot more berries. Whoops, that's where I'm heading. Wish, wish me luck. Well, you're level 6. You can maybe do it. Got a river nearby? Yes, I got a river nearby. Can we f refill it in uh, the water skin in a, in a river? I tried it earlier, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Yeah, oh. Teach me your ways, master. Merge? Drink. Whoops. Right click on river. Oh, no way. Well, that's useful. I'll say that much. Then we're good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That could go on the tips list. Refill in rivers. Oh man, that gives us much more like survivability in the wild because there's rivers everywhere now. You can get, go, you can easily find a, a river to to refill your water skin in. I agree completely. This may have been a mistake. Mistakes were made. This is arrogance. This is what arrogance looks like. was not supposed to go there. Now the other guy can come in here. But I can't get away. Well. Oh, and they both missed. We're supposed to block them then. Oh, no. 
Well, the debuff might do it. All right, you're going to just kill everyone. Why don't you? Okay, we got a little bit unlucky on the second fight there, but good enough, and we're running. All right, easy. I'm not sure if the other wolf even saw us. I don't think it did. Yeah, okay, that that could have been real bad. This was the Abbey of Holy Revelation. Oh, really? Still can't go through second doors. Okay, uh, good, good that you're covering that. I was wondering. All right. Too bad, but maybe there's a way in this update to do it. That we just haven't found yet. Also, if you figure out what to do with Varen's ring, do tell me. That's a spoiler I'm a-okay with. Because that thing has been bothering me for forever. If we had that promise and it didn't do anything. Oh. Here we go. That, uh, I'm missing too much here. This is not good. Okay, that was rough, yeah. Hmm. Well, despite all that, we still won, so there's that. Not really getting close to level 6 here, or so level 5. Another mind ward, good. It's gonna be a brain thing, yeah. That's what I'm expecting. Well, we we did we were told that it would do a thing when we got to brain, but I'm I'm just saying you you're probably gonna get there before I I will. here how much health does a rabbit have more than two uh, so two was 33% of its health and I broke its torso with my yelling <laughs> nice I can yell at it again. I can kill the rabbit by yelling. If it doesn't run off the map before then. I got it! <laughs> nice. How do you hunt? I'm a hunter. How do you hunt? I yell really loud. <laughs> this could be bad. But that was good. Okay. They're gonna run out of arrows eventually, these two. So... Rose. And they're gonna spawn some arrows for me here. He aimed, so we go here. Ah, 
Nice. Am I out of arrows? Oh, I'm out of arrows. Well, there's arrows around. Tally ho, indeed. <laughs> now he ran out of arrows. Well, he, you could have just picked up some up to There's plenty around. Why spoil the fun? Look at all these arrows. Ah, Hunter, I hardly know her. Watching two people with a bad aim shooting each other. Well, he was an archer specifically. I'm a, I'm a melee character, so he sucks. I'm just awesome. We were playing to his advantage, and he still lost. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Oh god damage whatever. Oh, uh bu -bu 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 -bu. Um I can take these guys. Here. Oh, stop missing. Okay. It was not a problem. What my board. We're not that far from a river. Oh, okay. Look away, look at chat for a second, and we're almost dead here. That'll teach me. In a turn based game, you know. I could have been smarter here. All right, you are the focus. The counter strike. Nice. Oh, you were talking about Call of Duty, not Counter Strike, right? I love that I can kill Keith and Jet. Read me and die. <laughs> Words of death. The pen is mightier than the sword and other means. I'd approach cautiously now, or like can continue on because I am pretty wounded something's happening here they might be deer and it is deer oh a boar not the best idea right now oh it's coming all right Use this on the head. Dang it. Uh -huh. 
Oh. Oh no, game. Please. Don't do this to me. Okay, we gotta finish off this board quick. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, oh it, it's running. And the other boar is coming. But we're running. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we're out of here. All right, I think... I hear a bear. I hear a bear. But I'm gonna rest here. The bear, we don't see the bear, the bear can't see us. That's how it works, right? Oh, okay. There's definitely something right there. I'm gonna run to this map tile. Okay, I think we made it away. Am I boring you? Uh, uh. Okay, we're close to the bar, uh, the, the the brewery. I say we get that done, make it back to Osbrook, and then hopefully I will be around level five by then. And so we can try to go to that dungeon again before the contract ends. A fox. Kind of low on health right now. Oh. Uh. No. <laughs> I don't think that aggroed them. No. Oh, Raspberry gives me morale. Ah. Someone went, was asking about morale earlier. I don't know if I don't remember if it was you, Flanson, but uh, raspberries, they are quite commonplace in the wild. They give you morale. So there might be something there. Um. Fly a Garrick for the pain. Yes. And increases intoxication, not the other way around. Okay. Healing self for the body. I want to kill those guys that we just saw. Because I need the XP. But I also want to skirmish against them first. Nice. Okay. I think it's here. Then... Yell. thirsty again and I am running low on water right now we're not that far from a river to be honest so maybe we go for the river first and pop the mine ward Raspberries, good stuff. Good. I 
was hoping to find some fresh meat. And that aggroed his friend. Very good. Ambush, he says. Oh, a proper ambush? No. No. I haven't had a, a real ambush ambush in this update yet. Oh, maybe it is. Since there's more enemies coming. And the old school ambush in this game was you would spawn three enemies surrounding you whenever your character would uh, yell ambush. I haven't seen that in a while, so I suspect they removed it from the game. Oh, oh, more guys, okay. Uh, I need some energy here. I should not have jumped him, what I'm thinking. I was thinking he would still go around. Not great. Oh, and I should have saved my deflect. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Alright, this is bad. We might step away here. Yeah. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. All things considered. Nice. should be over here. Morale down to 6% again? Okay. It must be that my morale is just tanking whenever I am a little bit hurt. Like, this alone might be enough to drop morale some. And I'm not respecting that. I need to kind of learn how bad that is. Because I'm trying really hard. We've been eating mind wart and poppy and raspberries all through this trip. And somehow my morale is once again in the gutter. So, that's definitely a new thing. I don't hate it, I just need to understand it. So here's the quest thing. I think it's down here, yeah. Hey you, don't take another step or we'll break your legs. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Psych. Okay. <laughs> I saw someone on Discord said that they 
befriended these guys or told them that they wouldn't hurt them and then w walked right up to them and mighty swung, you know, with the two-handed hammer and just murdered the first one in one hit because they didn't expect it. And that's kind of what I'm same mentality I'm using here. We are supposed to kill these guys, by the way, in case you're wondering. They, this is the quest, so... There we go. All right, that sucked. And I didn't war cry because there's other guys around that we didn't want to aggro right now. And he's tough. <laughs> Your aim is better than mine. God damn it, you offer. Uh. Let's pull him a little bit away so I can walk right. Also, gain some energy back here. One more. Nice. Do 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 do. Murder, murder, murder. Always just more murder. Is that all we're good for now? Are we the baddies? Again, we'll pull him away a bit so we can walk right. Next. We have very low energy. Switch. Walk by. Oh, he did get the weakness. He didn't take any damage, this guy. Sure, maybe. Oh, well, maybe he has like psionic resistance or something. But he took the debuff. That's the important part. Uh, there. Okay, he he fought bad a bit, a bit more. That actually kind of hurt. <laughs> oh. A crit. Let's feed the man. Return to Oda for the reward. We have completed the quest.
And right, this is stealing, taking the stuff from here. We're not allowed. Because this is not a bandit hideout. It's someone else's farm that they were in infesting, invading. And so we have saved the people that are here, but we're not allowed to pick stuff up. I'm just going to briefly check around in case there's something that I'm allowed to pick up. I don't think so. Feeling is wrong, indeed. Uh, because it gives me debuffs for society, which is kind of how it works in real life. Stealing gives you debuffs. Oh, last time I was here, there was a dead man there. Interesting how that's different. Oh, but this chest is not someone else's property. Ah, so I'm allowed to loot this chest. Okay, good. Nothing else. Yeah, if no one sees it and you don't bring them to town, you can steal with no risk. But I have not found a way... A place to fence my goods yet so like well, what would I do with it and it's not uh, th these are pennies that we're talking about here it wouldn't be worth it but there's a post I think to be left of Osbrook well maybe left of your Osbrook <laughs> I'm not sure it's the same for everyone I know that there will be a tavern or something for thieves that we can go to. Or I have been told as much. I have not seen it yet. Isn't there a chest there? Oh, you want me to store it somewhere else? Yeah, I, I could. But again, we're talking about very little money. So I wouldn't want to waste the time on that. I'm not that far from leveling. So I would like to find some more enemies here. I believe we still have... Two days until that quest runs out. I would really like to complete it. Elven Ice Wine. Morale plus 15 here. Causes drunkenness, so I'm not going to do it right now. It's also sells for a lot, but... That could be what need it needs to be done to fix my morale. Ice Wine. Yeah, I, I've read the description before. Let me see. The sparkling wine is made in the Jacinth... Jacinth? kingdoms from frozen grapes by secret recipe nobles in these parts are willing to sell their souls for a single sip I mean I tried super secret <laughs> Ooh, another grave we've had good luck with graves this run let's go for another I wonder if digging graves gives you a morale debuff, other than the damage it does for to your hands. Doesn't seem to... No, oh, look at that! I lost five morale from opening the grave. I think I see, finally, the cause of my woes. All the graves I've been digging up, my character doesn't like it. I get it now. Well, that's good news, because I'm not going to be doing that much more. Of course, I'm going to dig up the graves that we find. But we've dug up the graves that we have found. It's a moral... Blah, 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 blah. You'd be willing to sell your soul for a dollar, you offer? Nah.
doll of a do. Don't do that, my man. You can make at least twenty dollars for a soul. Otherwise you're getting ripped off. A character in League of Legends. It's a grave error. Nice. guys kidding around this is a serious stream guys to be fair property is just a capitalist construct so maybe in the feudal world it should be legal to grave rob super serial 